Hey guys, what's up? So this might be the last video of 2020, the first video of 2021, whenever this finds you. And yes, I'm having a little 2020, end of 2020 party in my room, I guess you could say. Um, so no, I wanted to do a video showing you guys all of the diamond paintings that I have done in 2020. Um, now, um, some of them are done and were gifted. Where did my phone go? Because I have an app where I have logged all of them and the gifted ones are in there. So hold on a moment. Let me put this. I shall be back. Okay, back and I have it. Um, so I'm going to go through the ones that I have here first and then I'll go through the gifted ones. So this one, now some of these um, are still in uh, they're Ziploc bags, <laughs> just so that way I can, you know, so that way they're, when I store them, they're just all kind of together, you know? <coughs> I'm so sorry. I have a little bit of a cold, too. So, and now this is in no particular order, like from first to whatever, you know? So the first one is Minnie Mouse. I thought it was so cute. I actually got this one within the last couple months, but I thought it was adorable. Well, not a couple months, but last few months. And um, now these ones, these smaller ones are put out by Diamond Dots, and they are size. Okay, the whole thing measures um, 15 by 15 or 6 by 6. The 15 by 15 is in centimeters, so converted to inches, it's 6 inches by 6 inches, or like I said, centimeters, 15 by 15. So you have Minnie Mouse. And um, I get them mostly at Joann's and, um, what do you call it? Uh, Michaels. <laughs> okay, this one is just, okay, so this one is called Patchwork Heart. So, I thought this one was really, oh no, this one isn't Patchwork, is it? Yeah, haha. <laughs> Patchwork Heart. So, yeah. I thought this one was really cute. This was actually one of the first ones that I did like this. And I'm like, oh my god, I need more. It's so addicting. They're really good to do, like, in, in between big projects. So, yeah. Um, it's Sea Star. It's like a little, a little mermaid. <laughs> and there are some ABs in there, like in her hair, you can see. Oh, yeah. oh my sleeve was stuck to one here. Okay. The next one is Magic Narwhal. Now, originally, I had gotten these to put on the closet doors, because as you can see, I've got some, no, yeah. And also on my armor door, my grandpa's like, yeah, unless you're going to have, like, a specific theme surrounding it. Yeah. <laughs> and this one was the first one that I replaced um, the regular drills with AB drills. And um, I think I got a little carried away. So this one is called Panda Love. Um, so originally, there was only supposed to be... Let's see here. Okay, so there was no ABs in here, but, um, you know, I just gotta be extra, and the, the only thing there that's not AB drills is the pink parts, like, really, because you girl just gotta be so extra, <laughs> and I still have some black ABs that I've been, like, trying to get rid of. I'll show you where I want to put them in one of these other ones here in a few minutes. This one is my favorite. Butterfly! So, yeah. The EBs are in its wings, obviously. I didn't mean to flip you guys off. Now with EBs, I know you should really, like, be sparing with it. Like, put it, put one here, put one there. No, me, I'm just like, if it's not the whole thing, then I don't want it. You know? And then, this one is called Smitten. It's an emoji one. I have a few emoji ones coming up here. But this one is just so cute. As you can see, there's some ABs in the teeth. And in the the eyes, yeah, the white, the, okay, so the white parts, the white parts are ABs. So, yeah. And then we have Cheeky. Now, funny thing, um, my family used to call me Cheeky, but it's spelled differently. So, yeah, so there's that one again. The ABs are in the eyeball. 
This one, I so this one I did twice because the first time I went ahead and I put it in the frame that it came with. And when I had the idea to put it on the closet doors, I'm like, I need to do another one of these. Uh, that and I'm just that obsessed with unicorns. So this one is called Pretty Uni. So, yeah. Like, if I could have, I would have gotten some blue ABs and it made her look like Rainbow Dash. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so this is the last one, and this is just Mickey Mouse, obviously. You can't have Minnie without having Mickey, hello. Like, I think it's illegal. <laughs> so, yeah. And this one, believe it or not, even though it looks black, it was, like, three different colors. I just took them out of here right now before I started. So there was, like, this dark gray one. You can kind of see it. And then this is black. And then this is like a lighter, like darker than this one. But yeah, it was grays and blacks for that one. Okay, now this one. This was one of my, this was one of my first square ones. I don't like doing squares, I really don't. Like I understand the detail looks a little bit better, but I don't like doing squares, I really don't. Um so this was a free one from, I can't remember, I think it was Paint With Diamonds, or Free Diamond Painting, I know, whole Paint With Diamonds debacle crap. I know, okay, like, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna remain Switzerland in this, so yeah. Um, but no, it's uh, the obviously the Disney castle, and then you can see Mickey Mouse, the ears, and um, yeah. And the reason why this one doesn't have a border is because I thought it would fit in a frame. But here's what I'm discovering about squares. You have to custom frame them. Because if you don't, um, they will not fit in a regular um, frame. So it's attached to the back of the cardboard frame, and it's already mounted down, so I just, just leave it. <laughs> okay, this one, this one you guys saw me do a video for. It was the butterfly that I did the whipping shop for. As you can see, it's still sparkling as ever. It's because I sealed it with the uh, glitter sealer. <coughs> now the next one, these are a little bit more recent. Um, hold on here, I have to get rid of this ad. Okay, there we go. So this one is um, Flower Llama. I thought it was adorable. I'm like, oh my god, yes, yes. This one is one that I just did uh, the other day, finished it the other day. It's a partial, so it was easy to kind of, you know, do. And it was just here that was the, you know, the partial, the, the drill fill. Um, I replaced the black ABs, the black drills with ABs. Um, and then, what else? I think that was it as far as ABs. Yeah, it was just the black ones that I replaced. But other than that, it looks sparkly because that's what ABs do, is they will, you know, they'll shine on their own, but then when you put them next to regular ones, it, it makes them shine too. So yeah. <clears throat> Here, let me, let me, like, try and make sense of life. If you follow me on TikTok, you know that's very hard for me. <coughs> me. Okay, this one, this one I just finished yesterday. Now this is one where I'm gonna replace some of the regular ones with ABs. So this is a Harry Potter one. I got this in a four pack from Joann's. I actually have another one waiting on my light board, but this one is just Hedwig. And we've got the, so the ABs in here are um, pieces of Hedwig, um, the letter, and that is it. So where I'm going to put the ABs is up here in the snowflakes where the black spaces are. I believe I have enough to do it. Um, I'm hoping so. Because there's not that many in each one. There's maybe like five. One, two. Okay, so there's eight. So eight times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Maybe I won't. I'll figure it out. <laughs> I don't know. 
Um, okay, so next. Now this one is a Diamond Art Club. It was, I was surprised, a free one. Um, but, see, now, little word to the wise. Um, if anybody is going to order this one, um, it is called, uh, I believe it was called the Rainbow Rose. If you're going to order this, I would definitely um, order it in a bigger size because to me this looks a little cartoony and it's done in squares. Um, so, yeah, so, okay, well on camera it doesn't look that cartoony, but in real life it looks very cartoony. Um, but I really love doing this one. But again, it's done in squares, so it took a while. <coughs> My sleeve keeps getting stuck to paintings. So, uh, yeah. This one I actually had to put on hold for a while because Diamond Art Club, I know, did not send me enough of one of the drill colors. I can't remember what it was, but they didn't send me enough, and I was very surprised. So, yeah. Alright, next. Okay, now, this one I know is a stolen image. A lot of these images by this specific person um, are stolen. I do have a certain, very few of them. Um, and that's only because my old room, the little room, the craft room, is going to be full of color. When I thought full of color, I thought of only one person. Um, so, um... I'm a 90s baby and I grew up loving Lisa Frank, so I wanted to put Lisa Frank in the craft room. This is one of the most iconic Lisa Frank images. It's her unicorn. Um, I had another one that whenever I would look for Lisa Frank bedding, um, it was, it's called Rainbow, Rainbow Unicorn if I'm not mistaken, and I believe I got it from Pete with Diamonds. And it's a unicorn, but a little bit more drawn out, and it's like, you know, doing its thing, neighing or whatever, and, you know, yeah. But it was done in squares. Um, <clears throat> uh, so I'm not for certain if that one is a Lisa Frank or not, but this one I know is, because like I said, I grew up a 90s baby, so I know more or less. This I got from Amazon. All of my Lisa Frank ones I've gotten from Amazon. I don't know. If they do diamond paintings, yes, it is stationed here, I guess you could say. Um, but I'm not exactly certain if they have diamond paintings. Um, if they don't, it's something that they can really get behind because there are some images that you cannot find. So, yeah. <coughs> oh, and those ones... Uh, those ones are like a solid square, 30 by 30 or 40 by 40. I try and stay within the 30 by the 30 by 40 range because to me it's like the sweet spot. A lot of people will argue that it's not. For me, 30 by 40 is just like the perfect size. That it's not too big. It's not too scary. Um, I'm gonna have a big one coming up here in a second. <laughs> uh, so. This, this is the very first one that I did. Um, it was meant to go in a picture frame the whole way. I haven't put it in yet. I'm kind of second guessing it. I don't know if I want to put it in. But, yeah. The reason why I don't want to put it in is because that picture in there is already flowers. So, to take those flowers out and to replace with this flowers, it's like, what did you even change? You know? So I'm not exactly sure if this is going to go in there or not. Um, but, being that it was my first one, I do want to say I'm really impressed with my skills. <laughs> so, yeah. <coughs> Next is, okay, now this, I just figured out a couple days ago, is a stolen image. Because I have this exact thing in a figurine over there on my dresser. Um, at the time when I ordered it, I didn't know it was verbatim a stolen image. Um, I, th I, it didn't register to me at the time. I thought it was just two of them meshed together. Um, I believe I got this from Amazon. 
so I'm not exactly sure, don't come after me. You paint with diamond, uh, stolen image, crusade. Um, so, uh, this was supposed to go in here. Um, it might still go in here, I'm not exactly sure because I replaced some parts with rhinestones. So, as you guys can see, there are some rhinestones in there. Um, they're, they're, they're like here under her eyes. Um, it was supposed to go on this wall here. There. But no, it might have to go on this wall. So that way the sun doesn't catch up because um, I found gloss sealer. I have come to um, really dislike gloss sealer. It does not make it glossy. It pearlizes it. So um, I will not be using gloss sealer ever again. I will just be using um, what do you call it? Uh, glitter sealer. Sorry, I thought it was ripped back here, but it's not. <clears throat> so yeah, so this one is a. Uh, let me see here. It does not say. <coughs> but I want to say 50 by 50 was the size. <coughs> okay, so next is now this one. I really like doing this one. And I'm on the hunt to find more of it. I did find a website where they are free. So maybe after I get my stimulus check, I will be ordering more of these. Um, so originally, this was going to go in our kitchen. Uh, um, you know, the wall that's normally behind me, but my grandpa put a stop to that. He's like, no. I'm like, okay. So this is Disney stained glass. I don't know if it's stolen imagery or not. I'm not exactly sure where they originate, um, but I know it's not Mandy Manzano, so don't come after me. Um, but yeah, so this one was Stitch. I really, really liked it. Um, grew up watching Lilo and Stitch. It was my grandma's favorite movie. Um, so, yeah. Um, but like I said, I'll put a link to the website where I found these for free in the description if you guys want to check that out. Um, there's, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. I already have that cart, like, saved in my favorites, and I'm like, I'm just waiting for that stimulus to hit. <laughs> and, um, I already know that it's, uh, well over $100. Um, <laughs> next. <laughs> Alright, so, yes, yeah, so that one was that. No, this one, this one was 30 by 40 so, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so this one here. Okay, so this one. This one is very near and dear to my heart because this is like me adventuring into weeb art. So there is this um, anime that I grew up watching called Inuyasha. A lot of millennials my age probably grew up watching it too and we are now watching Yashahim just for the pure entertainment of knowing that one of the main characters is these two characters daughter and to also scream at the top of our lungs every week where are my answers you know um so this is the shipped one of the shipped couples like the main one that really only matters um this is Inukag Inukag so this is Inuyasha this is Kagome you take the first three letters of the names, you know God, there you go. <clears throat> and um, his hair is a little weird on one side because I don't really care about dial-up numbers. <laughs> but I, I like it. It still came out good. I loved it. This is probably one of my biggest. This one is a 40 by 50. And it is round, right? Yeah. No way. Yeah, it's round. Uh-huh. <coughs> I'm so sorry, like I said, I have a little bit of a cold. Um, so yeah, so no, I really, really, really love this. Um, if I could get it framed, I would. Uh, I, I don't know where I'm going to put this yet. But for now, they stay stored in the old desk in that drawer. Um, so, yeah. <clears throat> oh, let me get to the ones 
that I have given away as gifts. So I'm going to put this over here. I have two other th two others that are pretty big, um, and I avoid them like the plague because I don't have a light pad that is big enough to accommodate them. I want to get a two light pad. Um, so yeah. <clears throat> Hold on, do I have any cough drops over here? Because my voice sounds like I've been smoking Virginia Slims for 10 years. Oh, there's one. No, it is not the Rona. Like I said, I just have a little bit of a cold. This is the beginning of the series of a cold. It's fun. Okay. Now, the app that I use is called Gems Flow. If you guys want to go check it out, you can actually also um, do custom orders and order from them. I don't know what website they come from, but uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, this is another one that I did, um, but it is inside, and it's called Sunflowers and Cardinals. That one was also done in squares. Okay, um, so I've done two of these. One of them was sold to my aunt for her daughter, and the other one is my dad's. Okay. This one I just finished. My aunt is going to be picking it up along with a different one tomorrow when she comes. Uh, this is for the same daughter that got the Cowboys. She loves the Cowboys and she also likes the Dodgers, as does her brother. This one was the labor of love for me. This one was my grandma. Um, we just got that framed along with the, the sunflowers and cardinals. And my grandpa has it hanging up in his room. Uh, this is the other one that my aunt is going to be picking up tomorrow. For her son, he is a Chargers fan. This one is in our... Um, kitchen. I think it may have been in the, uh, the butterfly one, the whipping shot that I did, where Steelers household, so yeah. Oh, that's it. That is all of them that I have done. So, yeah, like I said, that, um, that app is called Gems Flow. Um, I just actually did a custom order. I'm waiting on it to get here for my grandpa. I'll show that one too. If it will let me, but I think I saved the picture. Okay, give me a second here. So I did, so I just sent this in as a custom for my grandpa, because as you guys know we have a German Shepherd, and um, he for some reason likes the Van Gogh Starry Night, so, you know, take two of us your things, his dog, and uh, Starry Night, so yeah. Actually, I want to find um, Explosion of the TARDIS, and I want to send it in because I only have one Doctor Who one. It's done in squares, but I have a feeling that I would like, I'll, I'll like doing that one because it's, um, it's the TARDIS and it's Galaxy and it says Bad Wolf on it. Yeah, it's more nerd, you know, more nerd stuff. <laughs> um, and then I also have, as it stands right now, one of my Ravenclaws done. I have three Ravenclaw crests. Um, one is done in squares and the others were round. The one that I have done is the official seal, like, you can get at Joanne's. I wanted to put it on my door, my grandpa's like, no, I'm like, how can I make my room, the, the Ravenclaw common room, if you don't let me? So, um, yeah, but that, that's it, guys. Like I said, this could be the last video of 2020. 
It could be the first video of 2021. Depends on when it finds you. And it depends on how fucked my hair has been throughout this whole video. So, but yeah, I will see you guys um, next year. Cheers to 2020. Let's hope it's a better year. Bye, guys.